Hi there and welcome back to Dragonfall. I'm Byron and we are supposed to take the subway and meet Alice. Wait, should we discuss our findings with Amsel again? No. We can only interact apparently with our dog or the computer or the dead or take a look at our stash. Hey, does the dog have anything to say? How much money do we have? 2-7, that's not really much. Plus the 10,000 of course that Amsel gave us. But, um... Are you actually following me... ...to, um... ...at the information broker? We shall see. Probably not. he does follow me. Interesting. I brought a dog along. I hope you don't mind. What's that? Anything to get here? Yeah. Hyper. Hyper, hyper. Well, <laughs> you probably only understand that if you're German. Or maybe if you're from Eastern Europe. Scooter was quite famous there too. Well, the only active console in this derelict span of U-Bahn platform is an old video arcade machine. The CRT monitor is set into the machine's the CRT monitor set into the machine's cabinet glows invitingly. Cheerful pixelated graphics swirl and dance on the screen. We investigate the machine. At the base of the controller panel, you find a clearly, cleverly hidden input port. The port is shrouded in black plastic and it appears to be a, the approximate shape of a typical red stick. We insert Amsel's down payment into the machine. Internal motors grip the red stick and pull it into the machine. It disappears into the port and the screen goes black. Moments later, a video image fills the screen. The picture is stark and grainy, a far cry from the bright colorful sprites that previously inhabited the display. On the screen is a dimly lit office. The place looks like it was pulled straight from an old detective movie, from the Venetian blinds on the windows to the great swaths of shadow that paint the black wall that paint the walls black. Center stage sitting behind a large mahogany desk is a silhouette of an impressive looking woman in a charcoal grey suit. The tip of a cigarette blows cherry right in the shadows. She leans forward into the light and you catch your first glimpse of Alice. This is Alice? Her fade face is all hard planes and sculptured angles with high cheekbones and almond eyes. Her lips are painted a frigid blue, but the look in her eyes is even colder. A head of lustrous black hair is interspersed with flowing streams of sunlight. Alice exhales a plume of smoke, then tips her cigarette into a nearby ashtray. She fixes her eyes on you and her lips curl into a humorous smile. We're on your dime, friend. Tell me what you're looking for. I need you to find someone for me, Dr. Adrian Vauclair. She raises an eyebrow. The dragon, dragon slayer? Interesting. He's been missing for a long time. Did Amsel call ahead and brief you about this? That isn't how I operate, and besides, I don't need a briefing to recognize the name Vauclair. She taps a painted fingernail on her temple. Trivia is a passion of mine. Oh, if we had decking four, we could guess her identity, where well, we don't have. Fascinating. Alice steeples her fingers. Alright, here's how this is going to work. When you give me the go ahead, I am going to start gathering information for you. Once I've finished, you're going to bring me a cred stick encoded in an encryption key that I provide you. The cred stick will have 50,000 yen on it. Oops, I need to do some runs for that. When I get my cred stick, you get the information. This is the deal, take it or leave it.
50,000 Nuyen? Do you know what kind of money can... what that kind of money can buy? Apparently, I know better than you do, sport. Do you know how much work it takes to find a digital ghost? There's going to be wet work, breaking into government archives, hell, I might even have to commission an expedition into the socks. This is a serious undertaking, friend. Now, do we have a deal or don't we? Alright, Alice. It's a deal. Okay, but remember, you say go and I go. From that point on, you are on the hook to pay me my fee. No turning back, no refunds. Are we square on this? I don't see what choice I have. I need that information. Good, I'll be in touch. The screen goes black. Moments later, the machine reboots. The colorful sprites that you saw when you first approached the arcade cabinet return. There's nothing more to see. Alice is gone. Can we play at least a little? Hmm, I guess we can't. Good thing we brought our dog along. He surely helped us. <laughs> ah well. 10,000 down the drain. 50,000 more to come. Yeah, I'm gonna do some runs, I guess. Let's check the telephone. Do you have anything new to say? Hey, talk to me. Oh, there we are at that. Hey, Simi, anything new? No. Okay, let's go back to the safe house. That was here. Reine Neugier. So it looks like we have to talk to Amsel again. Now we have to discuss our findings with Amsel, okay? Anya Juliette Laval, did you make contact with Alice? Yes, I did. She accepted your payment and I ordered the search for the information we need. Very good. I can't imagine this would be cheap. What was Alice's status price? Stated price. You're right on that count. 50,000 million. He shrugs. It is about as I had expected. Thankfully, we are prepared for this. I have established contact with a number of new clients. You can find information on jobs locked on your mission computer. One job's file is on there already. While you're working to earn Alice's fee, I will continue to dig for clues about Feuerschwinger. If she is, in fact, roosting under the half held manor, then there must be some evidence to support this fact. A dragon is a large thing to hide, after all. Be careful, Paul. Remember what happened to Monica. I will never forget. Don't worry, Anya. I'm going to conduct my investigation the old-fashioned way, through contacts and deduction and careful observation. I will not jack into the Matrix until this entire sorry episode is finished. That's probably wise. Speaking of doing things the old-fashioned way, Majid is working to recover information off of those other DVDs. It's a painstaking process and it will not be quick, but she's optimistic that she will success in time. Finally, I've been checking up on our friend, the orc with the skin grafts. I haven't heard anything back yet, but I'll keep you appraised as the situation develops. Sounds good, Paul. I'll check up on those jobs. One last thing before you go, Anya. Samuel Beckenbauer wanted me to pass a message to you. Do you know him? The orc who runs the shelter across the, the way? Yes, we've met. Ah, well, he has a job for you. You wouldn't discuss it with me, but he promised that it would be worth your time. I'll keep it in mind. So. Raise 50,000 million to pay Alice. Fuck. Hi Dietrich. I'm not Afghan oh. Okay. Do you have anything to say? 
نعم Any thoughts about the last run? Okay, apparently not. Where is that uh, Decker? Is this his room? No. There's Dietrich, there's Paul. Where did we leave the Decker? Oh, did he run away? No, it's just an old piece of armor. Well, I don't know where he is. Can't seem to find him. Maybe he went home. Okay, let's see. Inbox. No unread messages. Check the BBS. Nothing. Nothing. Check on the status of the Alice Fund. Current funds 10,000. Oh, that 10,000 already uh, is a part of the 50. That's good. I could deposit 5,000 if I had. I don't have, so whatever. Open jobs directory. Nothing here. What do we have? Farmer cleanup job and human data. You minus you minus data steal. Ems's face winks on the screen. Here you will find the complete transcript of my conversation with Herr Fuchs, a potential client. Uh, I think Fuchs is. Vixen in English. Uh, you know, a small animal. The job seems to be relatively straightforward and the payout is reasonable. One word of caution before you proceed there are aspects of this run that you might find morally troubling. Be sure to read and understand the specifics of the job before accepting. If you do accept, you will be expected to carry out the requirements of the job in full. After reading the can transcript, you may choose whether or not to accept the job. If you respond in the affirmative, our client will be notified and I will make all necessary preparations for the run. Herr Amsel? Yes, I am here. To whom am I speaking? You may call me Herr Fuchs. And I'm Frau Elster. Well, no. Very well. Please describe the work that you would like to have done. Straight to the point. I like that. Very well. I would like to retain your team's service to clean up a mess. Go on. My employers dispatched a team of operatives to conduct a quiet operation at the local sharing pharma AG lab. Unfortunately, they botched the job. The team was eliminated, but we have reliable information that one of the operatives has been taken captive. If this rogue agent were to, sp agent were to spill information leading back to my employers, it could lead to a corporate war. A great many lives could be lost. My employers would like nothing more than to prevent such a tragic turn of events. Ah, I see. And you wish to retain my team's services to tie up loose ends? Exactly. The captive operative is a rigger by the name of Torvald Enstad. We need him neutralized before he can inform on us to his captors. As Enstad and his team have already put the facility on high alert, stealth will not be an option. Your team will need to shoot its way in, eliminate Enstad and ex exit the facility. A straightforward enough task and... Well, with my team's capabilities, what are you offering in terms of pay? 15,000. This offer is not negotiable. Very well, I will pass the offer on to my team. Very good. Good day, Hamza. Accept the job? Well, let's see what we can make of this. So, you minus data steal. Samuel Beckenpower approached me with an offer of work. Apparently an associate of his has learned some disturbing details regarding the Berlin chapter of the Humanist Pulley Club. He would like to contact your team to investigate these rumors. Beckenbauer was unwilling to discuss the specifics of the job in your absence. He has requested that you speak with him in person at your earliest convenience. Okay, back to root. Okay, we have a job now.
I'd like to ask. Oh, about another member of the team. Oh no, it's the dossiers. Oh well. <sighs> Screw this then. Let's talk to Sam. Here he is. Hello again, my friend. What can I do for you? I heard that you wanted to talk about a job. Yes, yes, I do. Thank you for coming so promptly. He takes a deep breath, slowly releases it, and looks you in the eye. Tell me, what do you know about the Humanis Pulley Club? Apparently, they are an anti meta human hate club. Club. Group. Whatever. The la largest and most well founded of its kind. The inve instigators of the Night of Rage and the enemy of everything that I stand for. Night of Rage? A worldwide race riot that took place in February of 2039. Thousands of innocent meta-humans were attacked, beaten and killed. Women and children were corralled into warehouses for protection and then they and then burned alive when the structures were put to the torch. That is what humanity stands for. This is an agenda that it le its leaders strive to advance. They will not be satisfied until all meta-humans everywhere are driven from the face of, Earth, of the Earth. Tell me what this has to do with me. Yesterday, I overheard one of my assistants talking on his comm. He was yelling, clearly agitated. I questioned him and he confided in me. What he told me made my blood run cold. What did he tell you? His brother, Tuck, works for a smuggling operation based in Shuttonest. That's um, Shadow Hive. Or, or, or Nest. Nest is an English nest as well. Apparently these uh, smugglers have accepted a contract from Volker Stahl. Stahl is a vicious ideologue and the leader of the Berlin chapter of Humanis. The cargo that the smugglers are delivering includes a large quantity of extremely hazardous chemical agent. Naturally this fits me with unease. Whatever Stahl has planned it can't be good for us. I want you to infiltrate the smuggling operation that is delivering the shipment. Once you arrive at the Humanist compound, you will find out what they are planning to do with the chemical and put a stop to it. What, do you th what makes you think they'll talk to me? I'm no more human than you are. Many of the smugglers are meta humans. If you travel with them, Humanists will allow you into their compound. The rest will be up to you. Why would Humanus deal with a meta-human run operation? Presumably because they are the best option available. Stahl is not, nothing if not a pragmatist. He will work with meta-humans when it suits him to do so. When he's finished with them, he'll discard them and move on. Wouldn't it be easy to just hijack the shipment? Why allow it to get to the Humanus compound at all? He shakes his head. No. Stopping the shipment would not stop Humanus. They would merely acquire another. For a pack of snarling races, they are extremely well funded. Okay, let's talk compensation. What does the gig pay? I have contracted sister organizations across Berlin and taken up collections. Between us, we have raised 22,000 new yens as payment. I trust that it will be sufficient. Well, if we had a socialite etiquette, we could get more. But I guess 22 is good. Excellent, I am relieved. I will make arrangements for your meeting with the smugglers. Their leader is an elf who calls himself Maxim. Take the U-Bahn to Shuttonest and you will find him waiting there. Best of luck to you, Anya, and good hunting. Know that you are doing a great thing for the matter humans of Berlin. Your effort will not go unrecognized. We will see about that. Let's check the telephone quickly. Well, the guy in the... Cafe said that he would contact me if anything came up via my computer, so I don't have to check the cafe. And uh, nothing. You coming? Yes. Who the hell are you? 
Dietrich. A lone figure stands in the U-Bahn station. Dietrich. He raises a bottle at your approach, then tosses it away. Figured I'd run into you here, boss. Wanted to be sure I caught up, caught you before you headed off. He takes a deep breath and slowly releases it, looks you in the eye. Anya, we need to have a talk about this Humanus gig. Go ahead, Dietrich, I'm listening. Well, I've got history with Humanus. I fought him back in 39 during the Night of Rage. Hell of a thing that was. I remember the terror, the senseless violence, the murdered children. I remember this little dwarf boy. They stuffed his body in the gutter, Anya. I can still see his face all bruised and broken. To this day, it makes my blood boil. Anyway, long story short, we beat them. Berlin's punks and anarchists all came together and we stomped the living drag out of those racist pigs. A lot of good people died that night, but we put them down. We put down some of the bad ones too. Let me guess, you want to come on the Humanus run so that you can finish the job. That's part of it, sure, but it's not the whole story. I just want to come on this run, boss. I have to come. It's my nephew, Alexander. He signed on with Humanus. Driven to by his worthless sack of dead, no doubt. I take it his father, your brother, the Humanus member too? Nah. That take a level of conviction, a quality that he, that he thoroughly lacks. My best guess is that he is treating Humanus as a boarding school. They feed and house their weak recruits and that's money that he'd rather spend on himself. So he dumped this boy off on them, never mind the fact that they are fascist swine. Fascist swine. Jitwich looks you in the eye. I've gotta get Alexander out of the Anya before it's too late. Those monsters are experts at warping your minds. It's how their disgusting ideology pro it's how their disgusting ideology propagates. So I'm asking you as a personal favor, let me come along on the run. I have to get into that compound, Anya. I have to find Alexander. I have to turn him around before these animals make him do something unforgivable. It's not like I have a huge team, you would have been on it anyway. Of course, Dietrich, I wouldn't keep you from something like this. Thanks, boss. Never doubted you'd bring me, of course. You're too good a woman for that. But it's good to hear it all the same. <laughs> Excuse me, are there more people to our team that I'm unaware of? <laughs> Do we have another one that can cast magic? <laughs> so, but still, we do the farmer thingy first. And don't fucking tell me. Oh, I get it. We could hire people. Oh, uh, now I get it. That's why he was uh, a little, uh, how do you say it, concerned. So you come along. She seems nice. Lucky strike. <laughs> nice name. What do you have skill wise? No, but actually, I have my own team. Why would I hire anybody? We need a decker. And we could either take Glory or we could take Igor. I'm gonna take glory because Iger's skills are too close to my own. Let's go. <laughs> oh, now what? Loose ends. Your client has hired you to tie up loose ends at the site of a botched cloaked and dagger operation. One of the operatives he failed from the failed mission has been caught by night errant security forces and it's only a matter of time before he talks. You drop a simple kick in the door, find the operative and put a bullet in his guts before he can spill them. But maybe we can liberate him too. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we get options. We shall see. 
if he if we, if we can liberate him and he goes into um, hiding, goes to another city, maybe we can get paid as well. We shall see. But we will do this mission. Oh wait, let's equip every. Fuck off! Didn't I just do this? Fine, we do it again. The fuck? We don't have a drone. Uh, how much karma do I have? Four, that's nothing. Exit. Find the rigger, kill the rigger. The reception area of the sharing farmer AG lab looks normal enough. The synth leather couches were obviously designed more for appearance than for comfort and the blue steel walls are gently illuminated with energy efficient recessed lighting. lighting. All in all, it's a perfect example of typical corporate design sensibilities, bland, generic and safe. An overturned houseplant is the only sign that something might be amiss in the lab ahead. You ready for this boss? According to what her folks told us, the entire complex is gonna be crawling with hard security. It's gonna be a hell of a fight. You can handle it. Get ready, people. Okay. And now we will take a break and continue in the next one. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.